The topic that we are going to discuss now is biodiversity credits or simply called as bio credits. So what is bio credits? Let us understand. Biodiversity credits or bio credits are increasingly being pushed as a means of financing. So it is a means for financing work on various targets which are set under Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework which was adopted in the year 2022 at the 15th Conference of Parties of the Convention on Biological Diversity. So at the 15th Conference of Parties or the COP of the Convention on Biological Diversity, this framework that is Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework was adopted and that framework has various targets, has 23 targets and that one of the target focuses on the financing work and that financing work is called as biodiversity credits okay it is similar to the carbon credits let us understand that so this framework has 23 targets to meet the core goals of the convention on biodiversity what are the three core goals of convention on biodiversity one is conservation of biodiversity next is using biodiversity sustainable use of biodiversity and the third one is fair and equitable benefit sharing of the profits which is arising from the sustainable use of biodiversity okay so these are all the core areas or the core goals of convention on biodiversity and recognizing that finding enough funds for biodiversity is likely to be a stumbling block to the success of this framework they are recognized this that finance will be a stumbling block thus they have this target 19 which stipulates that innovative schemes such as bio credits be used to encourage private investment okay so of the 23 targets the 19th target is focusing on resource mobilization okay so these are all the 23 targets of coming montreal framework okay so here if you see the 19th target it is resource mobilization here is where the bio credits come in okay it is a form of financing work to achieve those targets okay next the CBD that is convention on biodiversity during the 22nd I mean the year 2022 in its 15th conference of party has estimated that at least 200 billion dollars is needed each year to protect biodiversity so this bio credits is actually similar to carbon credits which is used to control the greenhouse gas emissions this carbon credits are used to control greenhouse gas emissions and bio credits are similar to it but you must have to understand this that these bio credits are not designed to offset or compensate for actions with negative impacts on biodiversity just like carbon di i mean carbon credits okay instead these bio credits proceeds i mean the proceeds from the sale of the bio credits are used to protect and restore the biodiversity where it exists so they are not going to offset or compensate for the actions with negative impacts rather the proceeds from the sale of this biodiversity i mean bio credits are going to be used to protect and restore biodiversity where the biodiversity exists okay next to promote bio credits the biodiversity credit alliance was also created or launched in COP15 in the year 2022 and throughout the year 2023 efforts were made to promote the bio credits at different fora and they were also discussed in the COP28 of UNFCCC that is United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change which happened in Dubai in December 2023 okay and as of now bio credits are at an early stage of implementation and a comprehensive list of scheme is not available okay so in future many schemes and initiatives related to bio credits or biodiversity credits will be coming okay so this is what we need to understand about biodiversity credits or simply